Hi, I'm going to introduce you to the Junior Counter. The Junior Counter is fashioned after the Abacus, which is one of the world's oldest counting tools. It is a manipulative that allows the user, both children and adults, to calculate. And it allows them ease in calculating because they simply have to move beads in order to make mathematical calculations. Not only does it, does it facilitate addition and subtraction, but it also facilitates multiplication and division. You can even go to square rooting. The way that the abacus works is that each rod represents a different place value. Your red rod in this instance will represent the ones. The green rod represents the tens. And the, hun and the yellow rod represents hundreds. So let's say I wanted to put a number together and I had to, let's say, I needed to represent 400 and 28. The first thing I show children is how to position the beads so 428 is actually a number. So they would have to manipulate 428. Now with this manipulation, let's say they had to subtract something. They had to subtract say 100, let's say 110. Simply by manipulating the bead, they would know that now the position is 300 and 110 and 8. It's just that simple. Let's say you're starting off with a really young child and they're not going to start calculating the hundreds yet. It'll only be a matter of time with the junior counter. Then you would start with just the single rod as I call it and as children like to call it. The single rod covers digits from zero to nine. So children know how to manipulate the beads to create simple calculations. For example, if I say seven, minus five, well, a child would recognize that this is seven. They would know how to subtract five. They would recognize this place value and they would know that the answer is two. This level one, as I call it, is the longest level for children to master because they have to be able to identify the number positions. But once they're done mastering zero through nine, then they move quickly on to mastering zero through 99. Just as the first example, this two rod junior counter represents the ones. There's a better connection for this and the tens. So <clears throat> children will start to be able to identify numbers from one to nine, D nine. So if I told them I need you to do a calculation such as 30, let's say third, let's, let's say I want, you, I want a child to do 30 plus eight. There's a way to do that algorithmically where they learn how to carry over, but on the junior counter, they would simply position three tens and eight ones. And they learn how to add, subtract, and multiply by doing just that.